I'm Philip Democritu. I'm a professor at Rutgers University and Harvard University. Okay, well, I'm, I'm from the academia, so it's not really a company, but um, actually sustainability uh, in agriculture food systems is it's, it's very high on our priority list. So we are even developing actually educational um, programs to help um, companies uh, to promote sustainability in, in, in their activities. So education in and for sustainability is a growing field. So, and also um, research, uh, how can we develop sustainable materials, materials that they can be functional, uh, but at the same time, same time they do not harm the people and the environment. And that's, that's a failure uh, uh, of, of our society when it comes to chemicals and, and new technologies and materials that we are very good developing. Uh, but we did horribly in terms of uh, avoiding to put out their chemicals that they can harm the environment and, 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 and people. And we come back 20, 30 years later to clean the mess, and that's completely unacceptable. Right? Okay. You see, put an academic in front of a microphone, we talk too much. So. <laughs> what impact do you see your company making in the next five years? Um, all right, so then I, I can start talk about my uh, startup company now. I take my academic hat and, and put my my company hat. Um, uh, in five years, I mean, this company is in the space of functional food, a food that can give you uh, beyond the nutrients that we all need. That's why we're eating. Um, additional benefits in terms of health. So we're trying to. Um, commercialize uh, this uh, nano food ingredients which is completely natural it's a fiber uh, f from from plants um, to um, enhance the uh, the quality of the food and health um, you know by controlling the digestion and um, bioavailability of carbohydrates or fat, things that they, we, we want to avoid. So if we can really, uh, by adding a natural ingredient that um, it's, it's toxicologically benign, if we can um, enhance our food experience, that would be a plus. So uh, we, the company just started, so we are hoping in five years to, uh, to have um, a series of functional uh, additives that we can add in, in different kinds of food and enhance the, 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 the health of the people. Can you talk a lot about engineering water, what it is? Okay, that's a, yeah, that is another technology for we, which we can use f um, for food safety. So you, we, even water, if you can change its structure and uh, you turn it into a, a, these water nano structures, you can use them. Well, that's the technology we're developing. You, it, it's very simple, actually. We combine what we call electro spray and ionization to make them. So the only thing you need is a 12 volt DC that you can power it from your computer. Um, and, and these modules that we're making, um, with minuscule amount of water, you can make these nanoparticles, which you cannot see because. Um, they're tiny, they're 20, 30 nanometers, so you cannot see them, but you can use them as a carrier. You can infuse them with antimicrobials and you can spray in an invisible way your foot across the farm to the fork, and, and that way you can kill all the, uh, the food pathogens. And also spoilage microorganisms, which you can uh, extend the shelf life of food. You talk also about unwanted substance. Yes. So when you eat your burger, I'm sure you don't want the fat to get into your bloodstream, right? When you eat your pasta, you don't want the carbohydrates to make you fat. Those, those, or you don't want the pesticide residue that might be on your salad to make it systemic and go to critical organs and can make you sick. So those are substances that we don't want. But they are there. They are there. It's part of the food culture. I like to eat my... My burger, but I don't want the fat. So, yes, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. I'm Greek, so uh, if you ask a Greek or Italian, don't eat meat and convert to 100% uh, 
plant-based diet, I don't do it. So I agree with you. But that's why can we make our food that is culturally acceptable, uh, healthier? And we're trying. That's what exactly what we're trying to do. Engineer natural ingredients that you cannot in minuscule amounts in your food without changing the taste that will help you uh, to um, to make your food healthier. Well, that's another problem uh, we face as a society. Everything is plastic, right? We live in a, in, in a disposable lifestyle, so which is great. I mean, plastics, I'm not against plastics. It's the thing is, um, the way we uh, produce plastics the last 50 years and recycling only 9% of that, and dumping out in the environment 6 billion metric tons of plastics over the last... 40, 50 years. These plastics are out there and they are degrading as we speak, becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. Now they are everywhere. They contaminated the water we drink, the food we eat, the air we breathe. And now we have more and more evidence that they can cause harm. So we need to change our attitude towards plastics, which means we need to reduce the use of plastics or reuse plastics or recycle more. Right? And also for those that we cannot really reduce the use or recycle. Can we use some biopolymer plastics that they are biodegradable? And when we throw them out there, they will disappear. So that's what we need to do.